and we're back with another battle video. So this is what is this? You played the game? Uh, this is Crobat. Light. Oh no, never mind. This is the other game. This is a uh, Darkrai Evil Soul with Hard Charm and Jamming Net. Oh, this is a Sean's deck. Yeah, basically. So this is what uh, did he? I think he won both of those cities that weekend, right? He did. He won them both. And uh, uh, we might have. We should have probably gotten permission for from them to post this. This isn't. Well, I mean, it's not his deck list or anything. This is mine. Oh, okay. So this is just a something similar to what he played. Um, basically, it's very defensive. Evil tall running Jinx to heal your active. Um, pr you know, ho hopefully preventing them from one shotting you. Running hard charms as well as jamming nets. Um, so that's, you know, minus 40 per turn, minus 60 if you're resistant already. And uh, does it run hammers? No, it does not. No hammers. So just. Uh, it's just straight defense. Yeah. Okay, so we see you computer searching. I wonder what I'm going to computer search for. Probably big evil tall. Um, I was actually computer I, I searching because I, I know he's got a seismoid active. I'm probably about to get trained a lot, so I might as well use his computer search. I'm thinking, you want a jinx? what do I need? And I go for the Zertic. So when oh, he attaches, so he goes to the yeah. DCE, you can and I just take it off, and it's not like my hand's dead, and I'm just gonna attach to the Dark Eye, retreat, oblivion wing the uh, energy out of the discard, and then Zertic. Sit there. Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> I and you think he's doing team. 10 damage to me right now? Yeah. Uh, if if that jamming net does reduces by 20, yep. hard charm reduces by 20, so he would be at a negative 10. If he gets a muscle band on, he's still only doing 10. Aww. Oh yeah, yeah. Me. But that's okay. That Jirachi's on the bench. Guess who likes to eat Jirachi's? Dark Eyes. Dark Eyes like Jirachis. <laughs> they do. And we see a little fairy. So, so we know this is fairies, not just uh, a... Or is it Slorpuff, whatever. No, it's... Or it's, is that... That's spritzy. I can't tell what kind of... That's fairy. spritzy. It's not the right spritzy, is it? I think it's... Yeah, it's the different one than we play. Okay. Right, I think I just attached a Dark right here. Play stadium. Play stadium and end. Yeah. Don't think you want a Juniper away. Oh, four supporters. I think we need to get a, a big evil tall into play here, so we're gonna ultra ball. Uh, I think the little evil tall and um, the Pokemon Center lady. Yeah. Yeah, cause you want you you're, you're, you don't have any draw support for the big evil tall. I uh, probably should have gotten Jinx, but I was feeling a little aggressive. And I believe this deck runs two Jinx, so since there's yeah. only one in there, I don't think you've thrown one out yet. No. Uh, one. You've got one prized. Yep. And Oblivion Wing onto the Dark Eye. And let's see what this Toad does, if it can find the DCE. That's... Couldn't even do 10 last time. Nope. And you see, I'm setting up Dark Eye here instead of uh, Evil Tall, because if I go in with Evil Tall, he's just gonna max, he's just gonna max potion it off anyway. And Evil Tall is a very fragile attacker. He can just another evil tall can come up and just wipe him off. So I feel like Darkrai is a better way to go. Well, I was worried more that about... That he has, like, um, more HP and, like, the hard giant. It's, it's, it's all about keeping him alive and just consistent damage. Because part of the tag, he's gonna max potion you. You're, you're gonna have to, like, accept that. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just thinking that if this is fairies, there very well could be a Manectric in there. Exactly. And uh, if there's that's a Manectric, nice. that's one-shotting your evil talls. You don't want to see that. Um, this list, I don't think, played... Uh, or there could be a Landorus in there, it, and yeah, even exactly, a Landorus exactly. isn't going to hurt Barnard right gonna, now. You didn't know what he was going to play. I think I'm going to Jirachi for this Zertic. <laughs> get it back. <laughs> and take off his only energy, and we'll Oblivion Wing loading up that Darkrai. Hey, he got the jamming net off of him. Yeah, he plays a Zertic of his own. I miss that. Yeah. He said, well, have some Zeratic yourself. So now that Dark is ready to go, and not that it really matters, this little evil tall can just sit there all day oh, if yeah, he wants. Oh, yeah, this little evil tall. Like, so, some <laughs> games, he just runs over everyone. And he only has, like, 100, he only does 30. And it's amazing. See him ultra balling an N and another fairy energy. We're going to see the aromatist come into play here. With but... no energy on the field. 
Yeah. That's okay. One thing I really would have liked to see from my opponent would be Malamar EX. That deck, er, that, that card is really fun in this deck. Well, it doesn't really, really matter deal. in this case, considering he hasn't drawn, uh, he's drawn one energy, yep. that DCE, and that's gone. I think he gets one here. Odd to have, I mean, I don't really like his bench right now. Um, he doesn't have really any attackers on the bench. I mean, he can yeah, attack with Darkrai, but that's... He needs the lightning and fighting guys right Yeah, now. that's for the f uh, free retreat. You know, Keldeos for free retreat, Aromatis to spread energy, Jirachi's already done. So, where's his, so attacker? his attacker is right now is a Seismito that's doing 30, maybe. Um, but Fairies usually does run something else, so I'm Basically, curious to see what else he runs. He's running... Evil Tall! <laughs> yeah, he is running Evil Tall, but he's running like the Stadium that gives it free retreat, the Darkrai, the Keldeo to rush in. That's a lot of cards, just so you can be able to, like, rush and retreat sometimes. Yeah. A little too much. Not worth it. Right. Working Captain on getting DC. this evil tall big. We're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and take the prize on Jirachi while we got it. <laughs> nice easy prize. Oh, yeah. And... I probably shouldn't have put the 30 damage on the Seismic Dote. I probably should have spread it out and put it on the evil tall. Because he's, more than likely, he's probably going to max potion the Seismitoon. Like, you're an idiot if you don't see that play coming. <laughs> yeah, but still, either uh, if he doesn't max potion it, and let's face it, this guy's been drawing dead for a while, Yeah, uh, you're going to be able to ensure the knockout for next turn. Yeah, Seeker, he's going to call us for 8. So he gets an energy, I believe he does. And more importantly, let's see if he can... Yeah, there he is. There, There's I was supposed to say, if it's there. <laughs> I think your printer finally decided to accept the paper that we gave it. That was an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, smart printer. Yeah, just a second. Not quite sure what he is. Yeah, he, so he took forever. I don't know. So he's he throwing doing. away. He's computer searching for the DCE. Okay. He's already got like four or five fairy yeah, energy. Yeah, he just discard pile. quaking punched me for ten. Ooh, here we go. J oh, course, too bad I you can't play exactly. the jamming net, so it'd be a yep. negative ten. Yep. Um, but doesn't really matter. Might as well just work Probably. on getting evil tall big and spread more damage. 30 on Evil Tall. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't fall into that resistance trap. I've done that way too many times. I always forget <laughs> about Aromatist being weak or resistant to dark. Because they're like, oh, 90 HP, perfect. And then no. Mm, nope. And it's like, oh, I have to do that nine more times. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Hard Charm is hard after, charm. after weakness. After applying weakness. And jamming it is before. Regardless. It's minus 40 right now. Make sure you read your cards, kids. Alright, I see a rainbow going on to the Aromatus. Now, interesting decision here from this guy. Would you attack with Seismitoad? With just the DC? Or what would you do there? Because well, I would right have to now kill I you with the other with the options evil are. Tall. I'd probably want to see a Y Cyclone. He can't. Well, he Rainbow can't in the DCE. The... Oh, that's. Yeah, I forgot he can't about move that. the DCE there. Um, well, then I don't think he has a choice but to attack with a Seismitoad. Um, he's he, the Rainbow, which is was his only attachment for the turn. He doesn't have anything else like a Landorus that can just hit with one energy. Yeah, and he, here we see another Seismitoad. Yeah, it's I either going to be a pass or. Yeah, he has to pass here or just quaking punch. He doesn't have another option. Yeah, just come to think of it, that's the second Seismitoad on his bench, and he discarded another one. So We're I literally think this is just Seismitoad fairies evil tall. Yeah, that's what I'm playing against. Fairy box, just a otter very bad fairy one. box. And I had, of course, I had the Lysander. <laughs> so. Didn't matter that the toad ran away. But again, I probably should have put the 30 damage on the other seismic toad instead of the evil tall. Eh, it doesn't really matter. And, yep, there's Jinx in, in I was about to say, in person. Um, 
You'll be able to get that 10 off. I will. So he promotes the aromatists. Uh... Just because I asked for a treat. Yeah. Well, Wait, not... does it? No, it, that's yes, what I was saying. It does. It does. Oh, the dark guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I'm just confused by this guy's deck. He's... Why would you have Darkrai and Keldeo in Fairies as your retreat combo, like requiring it. three cards, the Darkness Energy, the Darkrai, and the Keldeo, when in a Fairies deck you could just run the Stadium? Exactly. That, and he's using, he's using Russian Retreat as in like he's going to be lasered ever, and he's running Seismitoad. I guess that's that would yeah. The only thing I guess it wouldn't get you out would be paralysis and who paralyzes anyone asleep. Um, but as you can see, it's really not Any working out for this guy. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely if you're if anyone out there is thinking about fairy decks, um, going with more of the fairy box where it's uh, you know like no fairy attacking Manetric. Pokemon. They're I'm just like. Go ahead and do you a favor. Put. Mega Manetric in your favorite Manetric, track. Evil Tall, Seismitoad, Landris, Charizard, even and if And a Malamar. Uh, Malamar's a lot of fun. Alright, we see an Evil Ball on this Darkrai, and he stays asleep. So what are we gonna do? That's right, we have a VS Seeker in our hand. For the Pokemon Center Lady, so we can heal 10 and wake up. Or we heal 60 yeah, and wake I'll say up. heal 10. I don't think you see it yet, though. Oh, I do. I'm just deciding where the DC goes. Victory kiss. Heal. There it is. Go, Not Pokemon home. Center Lady. And might as well knock out his stadium while we're at it. And Night Spear starts setting up that last EX knockout. Goodbye, Toad. Now, if he could just keep up a steady stream of max potions, and here's the thing: be all three right. Discard. That's why Let's you do a computer search. That's Sorry. why you play the trump card. <laughs> yeah, if you max, if you can max potion right now, trump everything back in to get all three back, and just Here, keep the draw power the up. How is it? How is he gonna knock out this dark rider this turn? Oh, he can't. I don't think. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. No, he can't. Um, no, that, that would just be, uh... No, it would be a knockout. Yeah, I guess. So if, when he attaches another energy. Yeah, if he has another energy. Yeah, but when he does that, if I get a DC on my evil tall, I win. Well, yeah, you're, well, you're assuming... Yeah. Probably gonna see the max potion now. Mm. At least that's any second. Sacred sword. <laughs> yeah, please. Probably should have spit oh, up this video. As that's right. I remember he played as and it's okay. not max potion. As max potion. I guess he didn't have still, the still still effective. Yeah, hey, I guess the that would get your DCE back if you're stuck yeah. on a toad. I pick his nose here. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> How do you remember that? This game was hours ago. Third rainbow energy. So he's doing 120 right now? Yep. Just enough for a knockout. But here comes Evil Tall. And we top deck a Juniper. Woo! Now I feel dumb because I don't see it at first. <laughs> like, all I need oh. is a DCE to Evil Ball this other Evil yeah, Ball. Yeah, because that'd be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And I, like, 18. I attach the dark to it and everything. No! I'm like, Take it back! Take it back! And I was like, wait, math. I can just Evil Ball it. <laughs> Goodbye, Evil Tall. Evil Tall one shotting another Evil Tall. Format. That's also why I would put. I, I do agree with Evil Tall in a Fairy Box deck, but uh, not this Dark Ride Keldeo. Too much bench base. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is a much better video than the, ba the battle I got up earlier this week. And hopefully, we'll have some good ones for you this weekend and next week as well.